Hello everyone, welcome to It's Crochet O'Clock. My name is Stephanie and today we are going to be learning about turning chains and how to turn our work. And this is questions that I see asked all the time over and over and over again by beginning crocheters. So if, if you're confused about this, please don't feel alone because there are many people who get confused about the same thing. This is a swatch that I've done. It's just three rows of double crochet using paint box simply DK yarn and I am using a boy 4.25 millimeter hook to make a turning chain all a turning chain is is it is just the the first stitch of whatever the stitches are going to be in your next row we've been working this way we, we know that we need to flip our work back around um, so for this one I'm doing double crochets so I'm going to chain up three and that will count as my first double crochet in the next row there we go chain three so that's a turning chain it's really not all that complicated it just whenever you're reading patterns it looks a lot complicated than what it actually is when it comes to turning, there are many different ways that people turn, many different directions that people turn, but it all comes down to consistency. It doesn't matter how you turn your work to get it back over to the other side so you can work your next row. All that matters is that you turn the same way each time you turn. So when I turn, my habit of turning is I just drop the work out of my right hand and I flip this way so now I have my turning chain I've turned my work and I can continue along my merry way now there are some people who hold it and they flip it forward and around but it's the same thing I have my turning chain I can just continue on my merry way it really does not matter which way you turn or how you do it. Consistency. I know that I've said that twice, but it matters. Consistency matters. You want to do it the same way each and every single time. So just put another double crochet right here so I can touch on one more point. I have touched on this in my video about finishing a row properly but I still always like to mention it as much as I can whenever we're working because it, it is easy to miss turning chains count as your first stitch so this is a double crochet it's a chain three but it's a double crochet whenever you're coming back across or whenever I get over here to the end and I'm going to finish I started this row with a chain three so when I complete this row I have to treat this as if it's a double crochet so I have to count up one two three stitches and place my final stitch in that turning chain because it acts as the double crochet just a little bonus that I don't want you to forget about so let me unravel that so there's no confusion turning chains and turning your work if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and thank you for watching